And there again, they're all pointed the same direction. Hmm. Hmm. Do we have a guess in which direction they're looking at? Mm, I mean, compass direction, yes, but uh. why? No. No problem. Is it uh, 265? That's the direction that Herc's her pointed, yeah. So. Ballpark, would that be how much to... Oh, uh... 170. Yeah, I'm mute. That's right. Thanks, Sam. What'd you say? Me? Yeah. Oh, I said south. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You threw out a more. 215. That's uh, southwest. I'm just tacking back and forth, I think. Rider. Charlie. <laughs> oh. Several studies demonstrate how different crinoids alter their filtration slash feeding posture in response to variations in current. But that's not necessarily, it says feeding postures. Mm. I don't know what that means exactly. Do they face in the direction where there's a lot of nutrients coming in? Or? If you go into the Navy That's what and your we're name wondering. is Roger, do you have to change it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they were having a very nice conversation about crinoids. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Charlie. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Okay. They don't filter very well. United States like Geological Survey. By changing its orientation at the current, the crinoid was able to move its crown up and down in the water column, stopping where it found the most food. Ooh. Wow. Mm. There's smart. There's an aridogorgia. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, those are the spir yep. spirals, right? Yeah. Aridogorgia magnus nice. spiralis. Beautiful. Fair Is that a sponge? Can we zoom on that sponge, please? Can you zoom in, Dave? Ooh, pretty sponge. And some stuff living in it, it seems. Yeah, it looks like Ophiroids. It looks like it's on top of this plexorid. So many osculums. Osculums. Osculi. I don't know. Well, I think for these it's more the just body structure, right? It's not... It's not an it's osculum. It's not like a... Yeah. It's just frills. It's an osculum. I don't know what that is. It's the opening, apparently. The opening. I okay. learned this word yesterday. Oh, speaking of which. Okay. Word of the day? Word of the Faria. day. I think it's feria. The sponge, not the word Faria. of the day. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we're good on the sponge. Yeah, thank you. What is the word of the day? Uh, hold on. Checking. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Let's get a... Adam Brait. Adam Brait. What does that to do with foresh Adam Brait. Yes, it has to do... Oh, well, well. It is a formal <laughs> verb with several meanings having to do with figurative shadows. So for shadow vaguely. Wait, what's the word again? Adam Brait. Or maybe a dumbrit? Yeah, a dumbrit. No, I made Merriam Webster pronounce it for me. Well. Can you spell it? <laughs> a D <laughs> A D U M B R A T E. Oh, Adam. Wait, everyone be quiet so I can play the point sound point for you. On the chat. What's that? They complimented your rock at some Did point. Did you hear that? Oh, nice. <laughs> Adam Brit. Wow, I've never heard that one. Adam Brit. I think Brit. it's a dumbrit. No, it has the... <laughs> well, I, you know, listen, don't trust everything Look, on the internet. Look, add um, break. Okay, let's focus on the beautiful life rock. <laughs> life rock. <laughs> is this more the Corallium? I think it is. Oh. Yeah, but this is big well, old Well, that's Primnoid. Yeah. Big old Norella. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. and some of those black crinoids that w we discovered for the 19th time. Yeah. It's like, like this coral was Ooh. adumbrated by the last one <laughs> we saw. Point. Just like it. Just like it. Getting a little uh, farther, I'm Robert. I'm sorry, he said... A little far. What did you say? Adumbrate? I don't think that's a word. Adumbrate? Is that what you meant? <laughs> uh, no, actually. <laughs> I said what I meant, <laughs> which is adumbrate. <laughs> oh, Jules, do you have access to the chat? To the chat? Oh, yes. I don't see you in this chat. Oh, no. I'm oh, wait. I'm in a different chat. You're... <laughs> Hold on. No worries. It's supposed to be hashtag general. Uh, they mentioned something about the Blacksorids and Paramuris. Oh, yeah. Chat. I'm in that chat. Oh, okay. I never saw the picture. I wasn't able to, actually. Oh. So I'm glad I was able to show it to you directly. I saw that you said noted. Thank you. Asako's joining us on the chat. Thanks for being here, Asako. Yeah. And thank you for that note about Plexoridae. Ooh. Let's get some cool rocks here. These cup corals on the rocks? Oh, let's do a zoom. <laughs> All the little speckles. I am not convinced. Zoom in, Dave. I don't think nope. so. Nope. Kind Very of, bright uh, speckles, though. Okay, I'm two for two. I got the holothurian, which was not a fish. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh, I But I don't know what they are. No, maybe little sponges or something? Or is it bases of something that used to be there? Oh, peduncle remnants? Hmm. <laughs> Those don't look like pieces. No, those look no. like little sponges, maybe. bunch of them down there. You see this? They're kind of going up and then Oh, yeah. And oxygen went How up. much did it go down by? I mean, it was like two tenths. Whoa. Yeah. Is that an there? area where we were seeing more corals? Or no? Oh, it's uh, a coral. Well, we're seeing a lot right now. It was just right before, now. actually. It was just before yeah. that it popped back up. So there was more oxygen but we weren't seeing as many corals it's interesting but it this was when we were in one spot we were staying there that and okay yeah up. true so true. it was like uh not location based what do we think yeah they look kind of like coral bases yeah that's one of the that's what the viewers are saying they look like old coral holdfasts yeah at least some of them i agree okay carry on carry on I'll let you scoot ahead before I move it again. <laughs> you got winch arm? <laughs> winch elbow? <laughs> Ever since he chipped the sulfur off oh. that ROV, it's never been the same. <laughs> Oh, there's a crab with a anemone.
Yeah, you don't see either of those by themselves, though. No. That's weird. Kind of a codependent kind of thing. Okay, ready for a move, Robert? Oh, yeah. Bridge, Nav. Two zero meters, two one and five, please. Have you all heard the song Yellow Submarine by the Beatles? I have that stuck in my head right now. <laughs> What's the song? I do. I no. love that song <laughs> and I've been listening to it. Me too. Because we're on <laughs> an expedition. Can't sing it out loud, otherwise we're all going to have it stuck in our head. <laughs> it fits. Hercules is yellow too. It's like a submarine. Mm -hmm. This white coral. We were close to having a yellow <coughs> submarine. Whoa. Let's zoom in on this yellow coral. That or the white so coral. <laughs> we like kind of have a yellow. We have a yellow ROV. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not about to sing that. Everybody has a yellow Look at ROV. That. <laughs> All ROVs are yellow. Wait, what happened? Why don't we have a yellow submarine? Oh, uh, it's. The deal sort of fell apart, maybe. Oh. Are they it's yellow the because of the song? Um, no, I think just because yellow is easy to see. Oh. Yeah. OK. Can we get a zoom, please? Zoom in, Dave. There's those black crinoids with gold legs again. Yeah. That's Kerala Day. I think Kemi Keralian. So cool. That'd be a good Halloween costume. <laughs> Yellow leggings and then wait, actually that would <laughs> be ostrich an feathers. Awesome Halloween costume. Take I'm a photo of that, sure that one for anyone later. Anyone would understand. Yeah, everybody's trying to figure yeah, out what you yeah. are. We do have Halloween when we have Halloween on the ship. People get pretty what? creative. Yeah. Really? I mean, when we're out at sea over Halloween. Yeah, we don't That's just do exciting. it in like June or July or something. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be out. Uh, Halloween this year. Well, what are you going to be? So. You, need, you need a costume idea? <laughs> Not a costume guy, but I do have a Halloween t-shirt. Oh. I think you should consider the black crinoid <laughs> if you haven't already. You mean for the Nautilus spooktacular? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I think, yeah, if you played some, like, Vincent Price kind of <laughs> soundtrack over the video. Thriller. Cool. Yeah, we can make this a whole lot spookier if we just added some music. <laughs> we do have some uh, Halloween reels from previous <laughs> seasons on the Nautilus Live website for folks with watching from home. Headless crinoids. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> Bridge nap. Let's do another two zero meters, two one five. Let's 
that's a hard coral. I know I keep mentioning this, Ooh, yeah, but the okay. temperature record here mm. is super cool. It's like we were in a like a cold eddy for a while. And no, I, I like that you're mentioning it. Up. Yeah, would the the lack of current have anything to to do with that? Possibly, like if the lack of current was like result of some upwelling, and I don't know, do, wow. is, do we have the same lack of current now, or is it picking up or anything? I That's might see polyps. Yeah, I think there are. I think there are they're polyps. They're just kind of see-through. Yeah. yeah, they're just really small. Translucent. Um. Oh, there yeah. we go. Yeah, polyps. Yeah. Cool. Oof. Wow. It's kind of sad. All right. Uh, <laughs> I know. This yeah. whole thing was just <laughs> a little worried for this coral. OK, good. You're All beautiful. Right. Oh, yay, polyps. Yay. <laughs> See that little claw poking through? Is there more? Yeah. I wonder if there's more associates on the other side. I think this is um, Enolopsomia. This has to be the biggest Enolopsomia I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it's interesting because you don't see too many hard corals down here. I don't think we've seen any hard corals. Yeah, I don't think so. At least I haven't. Hmm. And then this massive one. Uh, the Jules, one we collected sure yesterday was pretty brittle. I was going to say, I, I don't know what a hard coral is, but some of them um, seem kind of hard. Hemichorallium. Hemichorallium is an octocoral. That uh, leash is getting short there now. Okay. Jules, can you share the ID real quick? Yeah. Uh, the spelling is E N A L L O P S A M M I A. All right, so we get on this guy. Um, well, kind of. Yeah. Let's get uh, some bigger views of the whole thing. Yeah. Wow. And then, oh it's wow! Massive. Look how it's facing, like on either side, like it's sort of like angel wings. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, wow, that's, that's crazy. Um, and then the species I think is Rostrata, R-O-S-T-R-A-T-A. -A. Can you repeat that real quick? R-O-S-T-R-A-T-A. -A. That's gotta be tremendously old Thanks, coral. Thanks, Jules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's made like yeah. two amphitheaters. Yeah. Actually, this could be Corallidae. I'm second guessing this. It'd be nice if y'all named them like with more descriptive terms, like <laughs> right. brownish coral with clearish polyps. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh. my goodness. Ah. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking uh, Corallium. Okay, moving on. Scratch the Nolapsomia. That would be pretty wild. Wow. 
<laughs> there was a lot more here on this. <laughs> wow. Cluster. What is special about this rock? That might even be a small hemichorallium down there. I'd say we're just getting into the I was going to yeah, I was going to suggest maybe instead of moving to waypoint 3 we kind of see if we can kind of crab along this depth range for a while. Sure. Would you like to go uh, you know kind of southish along south the contours? It might be nice to do an eDNA sample around oh, here. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm happened. trying so hard. Oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> You know, down here? So good. <laughs> yeah, down here would be great. There's right here. A, right here looks um, like a fabulous spot. Yeah. <laughs> if we could get a little further down even. Okay. Victor Gorgia. <laughs> the telestrator zoom looks like a Bigfoot <laughs> zoom or something. Like Bigfoot was seen in the woods and <laughs> zooms in all pixelated. Enhance. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that didn't work. <laughs> I did see this amazing Bigfoot documentary. What? <laughs> that, uh, that, oh, God, look at all the skeletons on there. Um, Is this know, the, okay? Yeah, that looks good. I think that's good. Right. You know that footage of Bigfoot across the river kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they had, like, they brought on a uh, French costume designer. Yeah. And oh he's like, gosh. hey, this is, has to be a real thing because <laughs> the hair is too fine oh to be a costume. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. What a great accent. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have Niskin bottles one through five available for this. Okay, I go to Port Railcam. Yep. Are you calling Robert Captain? No. Um, <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks online, uh, get your Niskin bingo cards ready. Ooh. Are we taking bets? Well, that's it. Doesn't seem fair. Oh, okay, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> It'll uh, bias us. Then we'll know who's Robert's favorite. Oh. I'm going with one. <laughs> You're not supposed to say it out loud. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so I don't get my wish? <laughs> not now. <laughs> Dang it. Don't do it. No. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow. Did it? Uh, Did we do uh, it? Yes. One. Well, one is closest to us, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's already done. Yes. It's out of the view of the uh, sort of. Oh, I see. In the shadow. Only the shadow knows there. Only the shadow knows. Paula, is this 047? So poetic. Yep. 047. Thanks. Oh, Jules, can yeah. you describe real quick what we're seeing here in terms of diversity? Yeah. Uh, we're seeing a lot of paramaricia. We saw that large uh, corallium. Um, let's see. Those are the, yeah. the two main corals I've One seen. Um, yeah. Honestly, there might not be much else. <laughs> no worries. It's there was a Victor Gorgia. You can see it a Victor there. Gorgia. Yeah. yeah, there she is. Um, there oh, yeah. Might be some primnoids. So you can see in, in the Argus zoom yep. that one's tripped. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Great. Thank you, Jules. Yeah. All right. Well done, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you found us this fantastic spot. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Way to go, TJ. There we go. <laughs> uh. I think TJ gets to make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, doesn't he get Telestrator pokes? Uh, oh, yeah, come on back, poke away. I get. What do I get? 
<laughs> Did I win the lotto? Uh, <laughs> get a go at the Telestrator. Get a go. <laughs> What's the Irish flag look like? <laughs> oh. Just oh like God. that. There we go. Green, <laughs> white, and orange. Is that right? Green, white, and gold. Yeah. Gold. Green, white, and orange. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, so that's the thing. Um, it, we are still in kind of higher wind conditions. Um, oh. I know the ship isn't super keen on moving. That's an unpopular direction. Yeah, so Adam, I think we actually want to consider either um, kind of crabbing. Are you, are you looking at high pack? Yep. We can kind of crab this way. Yep. Um, but we can't crab along the contour that you'd like. Okay, so. no, that's fine. I think getting as much time at this depth, you know, kind of that's would be going up 10 meters or something doing that right so yeah big deal yeah, okay we got, a, we got a tack we got a tack so let's try uh two one five bridge nav this is how you make an epic watch. You get to the best spot, and then you just stay there. And then the next watch, you're like, head Can on you up two hill. zero meters, <laughs> two one five, please? All right, TJ, scout, scout ahead for us. Scout ahead, OK. <laughs> Percy pens. That one's going to be so hard to see. I know. It'll basically be when we're down somewhere, probably. Yeah. It's very feathery crinoid. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Five, please. Dead sponge. Is that a fish or holothurian or just uh, some sort of? I think that's a holothurian. Yeah. There's another one. And there's another one. Oh, actually, can we look at that? Zoom in, Dave. Whoa. Wow. It Spiky. almost looks like a sponge. No, it looks like, yeah. I think, I think it's like lying yeah. in the rock, yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, that's a holotherian. Wow. It almost looks like Walteria. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> Hello. So wow. okay. which end is the front? Uh. Okay. <laughs> I think the one that's hanging off the wall would yeah. make sense because then it's out, able to grab I was trying to particles out of the water. Oh, sorry. Were you trying to set yourself up for a joke? No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, not anymore, Samantha. Kind of killed the whole thing. <laughs> It's improv. We work off each other. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to ask again? Yeah. <laughs> yes, and.
sounds like Asako thinks maybe we should collect. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <coughs> I think we might have gotten one earlier, but. Oh. Oh wow. Oh wow. I'm not feeling extremely confident about that. <laughs> Can we zoom in on the rock behind it? I want to see what those little bits on the rock are. They kind of look like barnacles. Can you uh, zoom in, Dave? What are we looking at? Oh, wow. I don't know. Maybe he's still in a friend? Yeah, that's another ID from the viewers, too. Oh, cool. All right. Do we have an idea for what was on top of the rock? Um. That's what I'm, I'm debating right now. Uh, either Plexor Day or Paramarisa Day, as um, Asako has pointed out, is a... Um, hold on one second. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Stoloniferent octocoral. Oh, uh... That was the little thing on the... Oh, Asako gave us uh, an ID. Yeah, that was for the small ones on the rocks. Awesome. Doroni for Um, so it was Parasis uh, and belonged to the family Plexoridae, but now it is Paramaricea and belongs to the family Paramaricidae. <laughs> This all uh, sound really <laughs> close to each other. Yeah. <laughs> they do. They do. Um, <laughs> so thank you, uh, Asako, for clarifying that for me. Um, super helpful. <laughs> um, apparently, Okeanos has only collected um, one specimen of Parasis hmm. during the capstone in this area. So... Any collection could be new to science. And I am quoting Asako here. <laughs> These are not my words. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Oh, and there's a graveyard. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. There's a graveyard of corals and sponges, looks like. Zoom in, Dave. I think those are mostly corals. Some sponge on the left there. Oh yeah, I see that. Oh, interesting. What happened here? What's that purple thing? Oh. Oh! It's alive! What is the purple thing? <laughs> Can we zoom on the purple thing? Uh, the there's purple actually thing? another purple thing. We have two things. Up to the right. And it's sort of under some rubble, like in here. <laughs> uh, we might not be able to see it. The ship stopped, by the way. So okay, we can. It's right here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using up all my pokes. <laughs> <laughs> Is there some more, Dave? 
Whoa, what is that? Oh, these are totally stolen of friends. Underneath the yeah. dead coral. Interesting. What are they doing here? That seems like a low flow region to me. Yeah, I'd say so. Huh. That's so interesting. that right. living coral that they're growing on no oh this yeah are those are those zoanthids I, mm, I guess that because looks everything more else like looks very dead yeah can you zoom in on um on this coral right here do you have any more zoom Dave? nope we're at full zoom full right zoom now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting as close to the screen as I can. I think um, those are polyps. I think they're zoanthids. All right, we're going to need to go outside and fight this out. <laughs> <laughs> and the purple thing? Stolen efferents. Amazing. <laughs> okay, let's zoom out a bit. I'm getting a little yeah. too zoomed. Looks like polyps. Oh, uh, yeah, but they could, they could be zoanthid. You know, polyps. in this democracy, we'll vote. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Raise your hand if you're Team Jules. <laughs> That's not fair. Uh, this is actually separate from this coral ID. This is just a more general. Just a more vote. of a popularity contest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have a question from the viewers. Do we ever take samples of dead corals at the, these depths? Not that I know of. Not or do we ever? I know I know. definitely people do. I don't uh -huh. think we really do that. I think we're, we're more focused on the, but on the kind of living ecosystems. But people do for, you know, looking at paleo-oceanography. Right. Yeah, we've actually collected um, fossilized corals, or what we oh, suspected cool. were fossilized cool. corals, because there was a, like massive stretches of coral rubble piles that wow. looked like they had potentially been there for a long time. Um, I don't know the results of those samples, though. Do you know who who got them? Was it? Um, I am attempting to access the memory palace, but. Uh, <laughs> The memory buffering. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look into the archives here. And then we have a rock question. Have you guys ever discovered rocks that are thousands of years old? Oh, yes. Every <laughs> rock we're picking up out here is, uh, can be as much as 80 million years old. Oh. Wow. Does anyone online know what the oldest rocks on Earth are? Oh, that's a Not counting question. meteorites? Uh, no. That's a okay. good question. Well, I'm seeing if the, they Yeah, know. chat. Let's see if they, but no Googling. No Googling. <laughs> Adam, are these also ferromanganese crust yes. this, on these rocks? Yes. So that, yeah, that makes it kind of interesting because the outside of these rocks is probably like hundreds of years old and the inside's 80 million years old. Whoa. That's very impressive. <laughs> um, I'm reading an article. Uh, on coral dating right now and this woman's last name is fish oh my gosh Aww. and so they've referred to her as fish uh when fish started her undergraduate career and i just i just think it's funny because <laughs> of uh you know brain science she shows the right career for it <laughs> for her last yeah. name <laughs> we have one um one said no clue the other one another viewer about three billion in central Canada and then the other viewer maybe the rocks at the bottom of the Mariana Trench mm. yeah it's actually the number changes year to year as people find older ones but it's it's about four 
point something billion year wow. old rock and it's from like the the Canada part is you know very appropriate it's from the central parts of the continents that uh, in Australia has some of the oldest Australia Australia why is there a specific reason uh, uh, it's, I mean, there's, it's a old continent, and maybe there's good preservation or exhumation to expose the really old rocks. Okay, so in this paper from NOAA, uh, a woman, Karina Fish, she was on the EV Nautilus. Oh, um, she collected coral samples she separated the polyps from the skeleton and looked at what the corals were recently eating um so deep sea corals do also have rings like trees and so oh. she was aging the corals and also um using the coral to to glean insights about um like the the chemistry the history of the the sea's chemistry are they annual rings or are they just wow i have heard that you can get it down to a, a very fine scale like even daily 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 whoa okay science are we happy to keep moving anything else you want to look at here I I think I am set. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm good too. Bridge nav. Ooh, and she traced um two zero meters two one five, please. She traced their, their food sources over time also. This is really fascinating. I'm gonna have to read more about this later. <laughs> is she looking at stable isotopes or something? Yeah. Um carbon and nitrogen. After this move science, do we want to head start heading up the slope again? Sure. Great. Yeah. This is really cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to bookmark that for later. The last thing on my list for sampling is just that C pen. I'm not sure if we're gonna see it with all these rocks. What about the paraxis? Paraxis? Parasis? Oh, paraxis. The paramaricia? Para paraxis. Yeah, is that how you say it? I don't know, I say parasis. Okay. I don't think it matters either way. Um. I did get one. We did get that already? I did get one sample, but apparently you have to look at the polyps to tell the Paramaricidae from Plexoridae. Mm. So er, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that. Is that this one? Can we zoom in on this coral, please? I don't know. I might want to take another sample to be safe. Okay. Thoughts on that? Okay. A sample of this coral? Yeah, potentially. If we could get a zoom on the polyps, that would be awesome. Apparently, we're looking for large tile mosaic sclerites on the surface of branches. Huh. Large. Okay. Mosaic I'm not quite sure what that bridge now. Like. Hold position, please. Thorn scale sclerites. Sorry, this no might take me a second. Is this a, the same coral? Um, 
<laughs> I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I, I mean the. Oh, those are within, zoanthids. Within this, yes. Okay. Which so there are two. I also could use a sample of. So if you can. Two species here. The right one would be better. The which one? Uh, sorry, I'm just reading a message. Is there a, another coral to the right of this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, so I think I would like a sample of this coral, and then if it's possible to get a sample of some zoanthids from the other one, that would be beautiful. Are these two different corals next to each other? I think so. Uh, sorry, yeah. I mean the, the large yellow and the smaller yellow to the right of it. Those are two different species. Um, Is that why you're wanting? So. Are these zoanthids and not? I, I misunderstood yeah. something. But these right here, those are zoanthids. And those are okay. growing like on the coral skeleton. But they do not belong to like this coral. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And this yellow coral is a different species than the yellow coral next to it? Um, potentially? Potentially. <laughs> okay. And that's why we want a sample of the other one. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And we don't want the hydroids at the top of that one on the right? Mm, no. Great. And where's all this going? Side. Side? Or, or slurp. I mean... I don't know. I want to. I want to keep one of those forward boxes if we can. All right. So yeah, side's always a challenge, but uh, we'll deal with it. Zoom in, Dave. Jules, what are you hoping this coral would be? Uh, Paramaricia. Thank you. Yep. And, I mean, it's pretty small. Can we deal with this branch over here? Can you zoom in more, Dave? Oh, I guess I need to flip it around. Yeah, is, it, is that branch on the right too many hydroids? Uh, yeah. So the branch on the left would be preferred? Yes, please. Is that possible? That's enough. Um, can you spin it so we can see what's in the? Yep. Uh, 
Well, that doesn't help much, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's up in the top part of the claw. Oh, yeah, I think that could be enough. Maybe three centimeters? Okay. Just going to do it? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Swap over to sample. Uh, yeah. to kill the thruster on that side. Oh yeah, that'll blow it away. Uh, so starboard vertical. Is this zero four seven? Zero four eight. Zero four eight, trail. thank you. forward one here we have the e available and also from the back a through c let's let's go in a okay great choice i don't know if we're going to be able to see it happen is it on the other side Uh, I think other side was better to see. Yeah, right. You can see it right below the Nautilus sticker there, or the OET sticker. Okay. Wiggle it. Yeah. Throw it right in the, right in the maw. <laughs> There it goes. Nice. There we go. Come on here. Are we going to try and get the Swantis too, or is this a sample? I think those would probably be two samples, right? Two different samples? Yeah. Okay. Sounds great. get that view. Can you hit dive again? This might be, this one might be too tough to get. I wonder if we... Okay. Because I also think that they're down at the bottom of this, but there's a whole bunch of living core, or actually maybe not, but if we're on the other side, we might see it a little better. 
Yeah, if you can't get this, it's okay. Do you think we could slurp it? I just think clipping it off is going to be very hard from yeah. this angle. Yeah. And it's too rigid to go up to it with a slurp. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Oh, look at Robert. Oh. oh. Got some underhand robot first gymnastics. <laughs> Under, underhand. It's always a master class in craft arm. Oh, that was tough to cut. Yeah. Well, we're not in. The, we're not in the cutting part. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. That's nice. gold. Wow. One of those leathery nice guys. Nice break. Yeah. I'm always right. impressed by how you're able to do that without <laughs> affecting the whole coral. Yeah. That's really great. Should be a commercial commercial for craft arms. Plus, you took off some of the zoanthids which will go over the be better for this coral. Yeah. Why I, is that? I like when what uh, are zoanthids? Argus views like that. Uh, the zoanthid, zoanthids will, will take over I can corals. Put it back for a minute. Will I? They'll, no, they'll no. grow on the, the I skeleton like, I like of the coral. I like the, being able to see, see the arm like that. It makes it way easier. Uh, OK, draw it out again. OK, something's right coming out. This is going in B? Yep. Nicely done. Beautiful. Okay. So our ROV is getting uh, settled back in. Uh, science, are we interested in starting up the slope here? Sure. Over yeah. to point three. Great. Sounds good. What's that range? Uh, 280 meters. Okay. Can we, before you put that move in... Always. Can we go more back to that 
kind of ridge line. Um, so kind of. Dave, can you zoom in? Like uh, 270 or something like that. Yeah, never knew it hit it. Like we were going back on that path to three, but. Uh, okay. Great. Also, Robert, apparently the zoanthids, removing the zoanthids will help the coral. So yeah. not only was it surgical, it was also. Medicinal. Medicinal. <laughs> Medicinal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But now every coral in the neighborhood wants the yeah. same treatment. Yeah. Start flagging you down. Um, okay, so Adam, uh, you want to go crab back where we were or continue no, along this contour? Like towards North Pacific Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back okay. up to the Back to our line. original trajectory. Yeah, okay. exactly. Roger, I think we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Look at that curly whip. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do 285, uh, Robert. A type of Iridigorgia, Jules? Um, Bridge, no? No, I don't think so. Where's the curly whip? That's hard to tell. Can we look at the curly whip before Whoa. we the curly Let's go? Let's do a two oh. zero meters, 285. That's a very curly please. whip. That's exciting. My nickname in high school, curly whip. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny Jim and curly whip. <laughs> Zoom in. Where does well, it start? Well, right. <laughs> Is it living? Radicephus? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it looks like a hydrate's on it, yeah. Yeah. Um, Is it possible to trace it backwards? Yep. Thank you. I saw its hold fast. It's just right up there. Yeah. I'm not sure there's anything living on this. So I don't think I would even log it. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, not even attached. attached. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild, though. Thank you. Whoa. 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 What? Hagfish. Is that a hagfish? Yeah. Hagfish City. Wow, I'm surprised it took this long to see wow. one. <laughs> Dave? <laughs> Dave's like, nah, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> seen him. <laughs> Definitely no love. Oh, that is so Dave. cool. They're okay. amazing. Cool. If you ever collect one in a bucket, what? make sure that you have a big enough bucket because it'll fill that five gallon bucket up with slime in no time. <laughs> Bucket of slime. They're amazing. There's a great so video cute. on the Nautilus Live website um, of demonstrating how they can tie themselves into knots, or <gasps> uh, which they'll use to uh, trap and suffocate prey. Wow. Wow. Knotting around them. No. Yeah. Like a snake. Mm-hmm. They really are beautiful. Quite elegant. Nope. Oh. A little snout. Okay, now that's just crazy. <laughs> We're looking at uh, slime pictures. This hagfish looks like it has though. wisdom. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Yeah. Right. It Annie, like did you say it has wisdom? It looks like it's carrying a lot of wisdom. I love that. It swims <laughs> at the a bottom of the A lot of wisdom and a lot of slime. Yeah. <laughs> Where was that? In Oregon? Yeah, there was a truck full of hagfish being oh my gosh. transported, and uh, there was a got into an accident, a hit, uh, oh. bumper to bumper accident, and there's a there's photos online of a Prius being completely covered in slime. Yep, that's what we were that's just looking at. The one at. that we were looking. Why, why was there a truck? I'm still stuck. Full of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why <laughs> was it question. full of hagfish? Still stuck yep, on that's that. yep, that's the question. Yeah, they're used um, in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Like leather so products, 
their skin is used. Um, I think it's uh, like usually sold as eel, eel skin. When the slime precursor is exuded from the fish, it rapidly mixes with the surrounding water and expands. Mm -hmm. Oh, it expands. It's also incredibly Gosh. strong. Um, it's one of the most, the, one of the strongest fibrous substances produced on the planet naturally. Um, so wow. military actually has been looking at it as a, <laughs> um, a really strong but, but viscous material. Wow. To learn from. I don't know, I wonder why they named it hagfish. I know. They just don't get the respect they deserve, right? They like, farmed, yeah. they farmed as well. They hagfish. Farm commercially or They're farmed, yeah. Did you start a move? This is really, it, yeah, we're finishing really it. Really fascinating and slimy. 285. Okay. We're almost there. I can do another one if you're happy. No, no. True move I was actually going to take a short break here. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. There's a lot of slime. <laughs> That's where I was going with that. Okay. Should we see if science wants to look at anything in this area? You want me to drive, um, Bob? <laughs> I am not I seeing anything of particular interest, personally. Yeah, you, All right. <laughs> you got another move in you? Or, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quick move. Uh, we'll do another 20 meter step. Bridge nav. Let's do another 20 meters, uh, 285, please. Is that a jellyfish? Where? At Atalanta Cam. Oh. oh. Siphonophore, maybe? Yeah. Wow, it swims up and down really fast. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh, that's cool oh, wow. looking. Neat. Looks like alien versus predator me. What's with that? Oh. They make slime when they're stressed. like a lot of zoanthids on that one. Here. Chrysogorgia. Yeah, it looks like it. Geniculata. Ten meters left on this ship move. Adam, is there a reason why some rocks have like this iridescent color instead of a rusty texture? Uh, yeah, some of it I think is just related to how much sediment is kind of dusted on the rock. But 
Interesting. Couldn't say for sure. Victor Gorgia. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. And a basket, basket star. star. Yeah. It's a nice little cluster. Huge crinoid, too. Yeah. There's a sponge back there. Oh, Ooh, what's that? That's a green looking plexorid and a large basket star. Is it a great looking there? or a green looking? Green, green looking. Ah, mm -hmm. and that was on the menu, right? We zoom in, Dave. Uh, was it? Nope, maybe not. I yeah, there was something green. Yeah, it was greenish yellow, but this is more green. Could this be? I didn't hear anything about greenish yellow. Oh, uh, that was from Brian. Yeah. But it, he, it was the dominant morphotype. Pretty this greenish is, yellow. Yeah, this is. This is greenish yellow. Oh no, I think we've sampled the greenish yellow he was talking you about, but uh, this is like this really is really green. green. This is green. Wow. Yeah, there are some different colored morphs of plexorids. Well, the ship move is complete, so we're stopped here. If you want to okay. uh, take a look. And zoom uh, out, yeah, okay. lots of opioids in there. Whoa, look at that basket Big basket star. star. Can we look at the basket star? Yeah, hang on, let me set up here. Thank you. Do we have sampling interest for the green one, or just zoom interest? Um, Start with zoom. Yeah, let's start with zoom interests. I think we're going to go back that way. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Hey, can you zoom out there? Cool. All the way out, mate. We won't know it. Why does it seem like it's drifting? It does. Did he lock it? Or? He must have locked it. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Oh, another spiral thing. Or is that the one from? Oh before? yeah. No, you're right. It kind of looks like the one from. <laughs> the one from before, right? Yeah. But it's not. It, we oh, it's not too far. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It. Oh, I have flew a good too feeling. High. About this wall. Look at all yeah. those hold fast that are there. Those yeah. Not right here. Are we just. <laughs> what's going on? We're Stand by. We're just getting, getting okay. set. <gasps> wow. Oh, look at that. Coral garden. Coral garden. How's that song go? About a coral what? garden? Or the octopus garden. Octopus garden. Wow, that is really long. Yeah, it looks more attached than the other one. It does. What did he lock on there? Huh? He must have locked something else, but... Do 
He's back. <laughs> it was locked. It, didn't, it, didn't. it was locked and we just blew off to, to port, yeah. yeah. I was trying to get it back there. <laughs> We're going back to the right. Yeah. What did you have locked on there? So what would have made it go hard left, even though TJ was going hard right on the stick? Oh. So we weren't actually set down then. But yeah. But, but even then. I took stick lock off. Yeah. I think it just wiggled off. I don't off. think it was Argus, yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's... To the right. To the right. Cool rock, though. Say it is cool rock. No, I had stick lock off and I was going hard right. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you got a little, a little ways farther. to go. Yeah. We drifted a little ways. Yeah, this mm -hmm. this Argus is getting or Atlanta is getting pulled around now. Still more to the right, I think. Yeah. Over to the right. Give me one job, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have waited a second. Make sure we were stable. But got, I was quick. Got to go. You got to go. I was quick. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wasn't I quick? You were very quick. <laughs> so quick. It felt like a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> I think my palms are getting sweaty. So are we over here? We were all Where just we kind of watching as we got further. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I really do think that we were, like, in this area and we got blown off. But, um, yeah. I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know that we need to find that exact okay. spot again. We just right. get back on the bottom and yeah. keep going. Okay. So do we want to... Uh, Continue up like another step to get it in the course that we were originally on. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, I'm pulling you big time. I've ran out of leash, and I'm not. Oh, you. Oh, we're oh, up Asako against the wall. Yeah. Asako commented on the up. green plexar and mentioned Roger. that they might be different species. They usually don't have color morphology. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunately, Coming we're up. not going to get back to that uh, green spot. Uh, okay. Currents definitely picked up. Yeah. Okay, so we're reaching the top because uh, suddenly I've got this wall. Wall. That's a surprise. Should have been more of a sh uh, gentle incline. Are you able to get closer or are you getting pulled uh, by? Well, we're just there. worried about being. Yanked onto the wall. Yeah, so okay. Just trying to get All up. right, fair enough. But we're going two eight five. Uh, or yeah, I haven't put in a ship move yet, but. That's, that's the idea? That's the idea. Oh, there's an urchin. Oh, yeah, a large urchin. That's the same one. Looks Neat. very similar to the one we saw yesterday. It does. Can you zoom in, Dave?
one of my uh, loyal subjects. <laughs> <laughs> Urchin King. Urchin King. That took a while. Oh. Jeez. I know. It took me a I was second. like, mm. <laughs> I'm like, sure, Adam. Whatever you say, bud. Okay. <laughs> we'll give him this one. <laughs> Instead of arching with hats, we have to put them little crowns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Adam's Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> Urgent King. How would I'd you like do? How would you do all the spines? What would be a good way to do that? I don't know. Mm. Okay, so I think large toothpicks, kebab skewers. <laughs> we have yeah, those, we have those yeah. wooden cotton swabs. Or <laughs> that. you know those like That's squishy, spiky <laughs> balls? They're like inflatable and right. they usually yeah. some bright color. I think you could cut a bunch of those up <laughs> mm -hmm. and just cover yourself in them. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're at the top, yeah. Yeah. That's a very hard costume, sea urchin. Now thinking yeah, about that it. One's maybe just like a little sea urchin hat. Okay. Be, uh, okay. Yeah. We're clear on the top. Okay to do a move? Yep. Bridge nav. Let's You'll do two zero meters, two eight five, please. Do you have like an overview of what these, what we're seeing? Oops. Uh, of what we're seeing? Yeah. Just we're an update. Right now, we're seeing a lot of plexarids. We're seeing some crinoids. I see what is possibly Norella in the background. Um, just lots and lots of plexarids, brittle stars. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I have found some urchin costume. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. That oh, look it's like an so urchin. perfect. Yes, it does. What is this? It's like a hedgehog. Which computer is this on? <laughs> That's actually Her really laptop. great. Oh, laptop. Two hundred and forty-four dollars. Wow. Hold on, I'll look. I'll I'll look it up for you, please. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> What's that? It's custom Na made. Naughty sea urchin? <laughs> oh <my> no. <laughs> Naughty sea urchin. Oh, the pink and silver ones are fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty Inflatable great. Inflatable stage sea urchin, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's sea anemone. Oh, kids are so cute. Okay. <laughs> back, back to my <laughs> back. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right, a little, a little off track here. Okay. Up we go. Uh, are we still sticking to the 285? 285. Number? That's more upslopey in the uh, more correct. northerly direction. Yeah, but look at that We're rock out ahead of us. That looks awesome. After this move, we're going to head uh, more on the two, oh, there's a two five zero purple one. Victor oh Gorgia. yeah, Victor Gorgia with uh, well, basket Well, this is star. the plan to get to the top. Hmm. That might be Hemi Coralium up there. Which one? Uh, way up there. Oh. God, look at this thing. It's gorgeous. Is that a Victor Gorgia or is that a purple plexarid? Yeah, I think it's a Victor Gorgia. Zoom in, Dave. Oh, I don't know. On the other hand, yeah, it looks like purple. But I think it's a black sword. Noted. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. How would you ever know if there's one basket star or right. six? You know? Yeah. <laughs> right. Usually, there's a center in there somewhere. It is cold in this van. Yeah. 
there, keep the computers cold. Yeah. But there's a... Uh, temperature in here hasn't changed plus or minus one degree in a week. <laughs> wow. It's just to get the different drafts. You get sometimes. different drafts and oh, you get okay. exposed to it for a while. Yeah. And it moves on. Norella? No, oh, that, that's an urchin. Yeah. More of that purple plexoria, too. Yeah. Robert, are you able to swing around to be more face on with this mm -hmm. colony? So many basket stars. Right. Right. And so many holdfasts. Yeah, this is a popular spot. What you want to look at? I just want to see the whole thing. Oh. That at Atlanta view is really cool. Do we know how big basket it's stars Atlanta. can get? Like a mature adult basket star? Um, let me look into that. Perhaps an even more challenging Halloween There's costume. There's a lot of <laughs> basket stars. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a cool one. I'm wondering why this area is um, popular for them. Can measure a meter long. Oh, wow. Arms that can measure a meter long. Whoa. So much diversity. Is it safe to say this is either a diversity hotspot or have we seen better times? Um, Pretty. I'd say it's as good as any spot we've seen, I think. Yeah. In terms of. It's fairly forms. biodiverse. That ship moves complete. Wow, that's a whole lot of plexorids. We need a term for a whole bunch of plexorids. <laughs> <laughs> a plexorus? A pass a passel of plexorids. Mm. Okay, so ROV. Yes. Well, you've got this trajectory two five zero to get up to waypoint three. Okay. This should be a gentler slope as we reach the top. I mean, it kind of looks like we're topish. Topish. A couple more uh, gradients here. So, science, if you're happy, we can uh, get moving towards waypoint three. Yeah, happy. Sure. Great. Bridge now. Let's do two zero meters, two five zero, please. Two five zero, please. <laughs> sure. 
running, running, <laughs> running, running. <laughs> They're so cool. Oh, is that? Oh, they're crinoids. Thought it was sea pen. Yeah. You pluck tell it. <coughs> is the sea pen a sand loving? Yeah. Pier? Yes, it is. So, so sand would actually be good here. for me. I was not expecting to see sand out at the top of this. Yeah. Um, the type of sea pen I'm looking for is usually pretty short. Nice glass sponge back there. Bottom yeah. of the screen down there. Right down at the bottom of the screen. Can we look at this one, please? It's right next to that rock. Actually, some of these ones might be. Okay. Um. I think we're coming in for a landing. Okay. Yeah, I might want to look around a little bit. I think that thing you pointed to is a fish. Oh, is it? Yeah, know. it looks like it. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Yeah. Is it? Can you zoom in, Dave? What's this guy? Yeah, what's that? Is that an urchin? An anemone. Looks like or a tube yeah, anemone. anemone. <laughs> yeah, with its tube coming out of the sand. Wow. They actually might. Is this a common sand anemone? Is that the name? Or is it just a tube anemone? Um. Sand Common anemone? names. Oh, what is that? That's a rock oh, pen in sand. Oh, that is rock pen. Oh, uh, it no. looks like it's a little confused. Unless there's a rock underneath it. <laughs> um, can we look to the right, please? Hmm. Is that those yeah, guys? Yeah. Can we zoom in on one of these? Is that full zoom there, Dave? Point. We got more. That's it right there. You need it closer? Um, if you could. Zoom out. We don't see any here, right? There are some. There's one right in front. Yeah. Is that the same? Yeah, I think that's the same. How about we zoom right in there, then? Oh, it's maybe a little too pink for that thing, but... Yeah, I don't think that's... Does it have a skeleton? Is that what's sticking out the top of that thing? Yeah, it looks like something ate it. It looks a little bit like a uh, protoptilum. And then the sea pen that we saw uh, just earlier was Penatula. So these are these, these are, are not the pens you're looking for. Yeah, we're looking for different pens. Um, unless any of these are different. I think they all look like the pink one. They all look pretty similar, yeah. Keep moving. Um, can we just zoom on one more next to that, uh, that rock, um, over here? They look like slightly you want to different. Get closer to it? Or? Yeah, probably yes, need please. a little closer. Okay. We're completing a ship move, so you'll have all the time we need. Lovely. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of curious about... Hard to 
say. Yeah, I think you're right. They all look uh, pretty similar. Yeah, Mindy. Yeah, more protoptilum. Cool. Um, I'm good here. Thank you. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, I don't see any of the C pens that I'm looking for here. Okay. Flight's taking off again. Yep. Different. Looks a Can we bit. zoom on it? Looks zoom darker. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Are the polyps retracted? What's going on? This is strange. <laughs> it it could be more of the same. Yeah, I think it's more of the protoptilids. Alright. Okay, thank you. It's abstract art in the ocean C <laughs> four. <laughs> The ripples, the stick, the shadows, yeah. That's an interesting rock. Hmm. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, all the sea pen stuff. I was yeah. staring off into the distance. <laughs> Those two words bring you back to life. Cool rock. Do we want to keep looking around here? Or do another move? Um, I'm liking the sandy stuff, but right. ooh, oh, that's a uh, umbelula. I'm not sure if I'm gonna Zoom find in the cofobalamnon in this area. Cool. I love these ones. Still. That's a great shot. Wow. Just throw your polyps in the air. <laughs> Wave them <laughs> like you just, just don't, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like a snow globe. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Nice shot. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so what are we doing? Uh, we can move on. Um, 
Right. Yeah. Move on. Ship move or continue looking in the sandy? I think ship move. A ship move. We can okay. see the rest of this sand before. Bridge nav. Two zero meter is two five zero, please. Are shrimps attracted to light? Like, are we attracting them? And for some reason, we're seeing a lot of them. Or? No, they. I think they're just. In fact, some of them can get their can get damaged by light. Ooh. So I think they're just all around. I mean, they're all the way down. We know that much for sure. <laughs> they're mostly <laughs> confused when they see us then. Did it you, says. Did you see the experiment we did with the sub last year? Uh, I had gotten off by that point, but uh, yeah, I, the red light kind of yeah. experiment. Yeah. I had to drive the sub up to a, one of the hottest hydrothermal vents on the planet wow. with just a red LED light. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the experiment? To see if the shrimp were affected by the lights. Interesting. <laughs> what do you find? It's so they went in with DNA or RNA later, yeah, and samples before the, with just the red light? Yeah, with just the, the red light lights and, and then turned on again. the big lights. Yeah. Sampled them again. Huh. Hmm. And then looked at the behavior and they didn't, they were they didn't change at all. When oh, on the big lights. okay. Interesting. Yeah, that is uh, Chrysogorgia. <laughs> A little hairy driving up to the vent. I was gonna say, little, did dim you, little red light. <laughs> <laughs> did you volunteer for that? <laughs> Is that a anglerfish there? This no, no, right, the Atalantica. Yeah. Where? Right there. What? Oh. What is that? I'm not sure where I, we're looking. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh! Oh, right. I hope oh, it is. Oh. oh. And it is. Oh. Oh. Is it? Oh. If that is, that would be a major highlight. <laughs> yeah. And it's I don't back. think we've actually captured an ang anglerfish. Do you see it? On oh, Nautilus Life. It's right where the tether is. Turn the slurp on to a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I meant video captured. Not I got you. <laughs> <laughs> is it? That be mega beans. I don't yeah. see it. Mega beans. Give me right all there. the beans. <laughs> Bottom right now. Bigfoot quality footage of an yeah. angler fish. <laughs> <laughs> Good eye though. It's definitely something interesting. Wow. That's pretty neat. All right, so we're good here. Are yeah. We, are we moving? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is the ship moving? We are, yeah, about 10 meters left. Percentage. The crinoids all have their heads. That's good. That's good news. a sponge. Yeah. Or, uh, or maybe a... Hold on. Oh. Yeah, uh, I think it's a sponge. Yeah. Looks a little smooth to be a sponge. <laughs> and you said you had no... <laughs> <laughs> I 
person. elementary school about bringing enough for the entire class. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. It seems you've forgotten about the back row. Mm -hmm. What What is even going on? I don't know. Nothing. No idea. There Nothing are good. snacks happening. Just look at the screen. Nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start bringing snacks. Whoever's making the lip smacking noises, can that <laughs> can that stop? <laughs> You're scaring the shrimp. Sponge. Fair day. There okay. There we go. Bridge nav. <clears throat> two zero meters, two five zero, please. Should we call this the Plexorid Palisade. Or yeah. Fancy. That's a good one. Plexorid. Uh, uh, get back to you about that. Pathway of Plexorids. Ooh, is that a fish? fish? Yeah. yeah. Looks like it. Annie, where do we have people joining us from? Good question. So the. Um, of course, the United States, the UK, Australia, Italy, Finland, Canada, Russian Federation, Netherlands, Maldives, or Iran, Islamic Republic of Iran, Hungary, Switzerland, and Brazil. Nice. Shout out to everyone tuning in. Yeah, every, uh, we have a viewer. Watch out eating up in front row. Kaskio? <laughs> uh. No. Kaskio. You say no. Is it not know. a cuscue? It's like uh, I no, I didn't say no. Oh. I don't have good fish ID skills. I thought it was a no. I think it's a cuscue. <laughs> they look so prehistoric. Yeah, that right. big like. What is that thing called? Uh, <laughs> forehead? <laughs> <laughs> brain, There's brain no hole. better word for it. <laughs> it's got a big brain. Great big bump. head. Why does this keep showing me a weird grid? What weird grid? This weird grid. Don't worry about it. You drive. Alvin you you keep your eyes on the road. Oh, Alvin X Y. Ugh. What? Stand. What's wrong with that? It, it it doesn't have any meaning. Is it relative to some arbitrary point? Yeah, but it's it's numbers you can actually read out instead of eighteen digits. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're gonna have to agree to disagree. <laughs> Are we having a moment with the fish, or are we going <laughs> to... Uh, I don't know. Nobody said do something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're mercerized. I feel like we have a connection. I'm just, I'm just in auto mode here. <laughs> Some, someone take Robert out of stick lock. <laughs> We've only got an hour left. I think we're all ready. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're almost almost to the top. We've got, uh, if I can get my cursor back, we've got 170 meters to the top. Or sorry, not to the top, but to uh, our waypoint three. We've got about 70 meters to the top, what, according to our contours. What do we have after waypoint three? 
probably waypoint four, but let me verify that. Let me get some evidence. <laughs> yep. Waypoint four. Uh, oh, indeed. There's actually higher point that we will not be reaching. Oh, I feel bad for Mike and company. They're going to get a big flat. Uh, I know our watch tends to take all the interesting stuff, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Best watch. Yeah, what was the name? Metallo. Chrysogorgeous. Oh, we have a oh. lot. Metallo gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, Metallo gorgeous. All the way down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> watch that, not, that shall not be named. There was one of them. Oh, okay. Ouch. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. That one seems. Led by the urchin king. <laughs> 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 Big sponge. <laughs> oh, a big sponge. So oh. I, I even have a short story um, oh. from all of those words. That's really that cool, though. Let's look that at that sponge. Top left. Yeah, that's a Uplectelid. Um, the Metalla Gorgeous team led all the way down by the Urchin King. <laughs> <laughs> that that's was poetic. Might yeah. we'll need to come loaded with haikus for the next watch. <laughs> Definitely had some good haikus. Wait, I'm going to use AI to write a poem about this. Oh, oh no. my gosh. Oh, chat GPT. You need to work in, syrup, GPT. Work in surreptitious snacks. Yeah, yeah. actually, <laughs> ooh, I'm going to have to. In the front row. I feel like our viewers are I'm not uh, sure about this. <laughs> Sorry, continue. just as good at writing haikus from our. Uh, Can we zoom in, Dave? Yeah, uh, viewers, yeah, send in your haikus. Yep. Right. Much better than send them in. GPT. You think? What oh. is this? What is happening? Why sponge? is there? I but there's don't know. Oh, what? What? What is this? It's a hybrid. <laughs> wow. It's a okay, this is odd. High rise apartment. This is so odd. For crinoids. Can we sample it? Sample it. Yeah. Yes. Just a piece. That's really cool. Yeah. A slip Just and, a piece. A snip and slurp. Wow. That's super interesting. Because wow. it's, the sponge looks alive and healthy. Yeah. What is going on there? And the. Is that I the, don't even know what that is. Is that the green you guys wanted in it the box? Looks, oh. You know, the uh, green? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my God. The spot. I think that's more flexory. Okay. This is very um, interesting. What? It looks like what a sponge is going colonized on? by whatever. <laughs> colonized. That they look like coral polyps, but they, they don't look like zoanthids to me. And they're so regularly spaced, right? Like it's just Yeah. We have a possible idea, La Froyella. They have an associate zoanthids or anemones. Huh. That's cool. So are we going for it? I think it'd be useful to to get a piece of this. Yeah. Wait. Should, should we get laser? Wow, first? this is so cool. Thank you to whoever sent that in. What? Ship has stopped. Zoom in on the lasers there, Dave. Good. Okay, zoom out. Wow, oh, yeah, look at that. Huh. Fascinating. What? Lefroyella. Do we have a possible light? Such a. Yeah, Lefroy, L E F R O Y. Oh, sorry, Jules, give me one sec. I don't okay, know what yeah. happened here. <laughs> oh. Take your time. Okay, here we go. L E F R O Y E L L A. That is the species. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. That is so cool.
You gave us a link and everything. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Still, dang it. Now, Vop comes. Are we slurping or grabbing? I think we're Slip slurping. And slurp. Snip and slurp. Thank yeah. you. Good old snip and slurp. Ah. Uh, is one okay for the slurp? Yeah. Uh, what what buckets do we have? Yeah, one is fine. Okay. 